Good morning, everybody. So I have a few announcements for you. Pretty important things happening. So um, I said, I don't know if, if it was my last video, the one before that, that it felt like the source poured fertilizer over me, like I really deepened into self. And um, so true enough, very true statement. Um, what's happened now? So if you notice the post that I've been posting lately, I post something on there about the, le the 11 dimensions. Um, I'm being drawn into that area right now. And um, the whole focus is, and also that story about Ramakrishna um, cutting the hallucination of Kali to become a Paramhamsa. And um, so I'm being drawn in that area. And the only thing that I can tell you for sure is the entirety of this path, every time I told you guys that I was being led somewhere, that's exactly where I was led and that's exactly where I went. So I know exactly what's happening. So right now the whole focus is for me to get rid of this hallucination that has taken over this form and um, become totally free. So I, start, I was led to a few pages on uh, YouTube. One of them was by uh, a Siddha teacher and um, I'll put the video in the description for anyone who wants to see it. I first heard about this mudra from uh, Sadhguru. I just heard the name of it now. I, 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 he didn't really go into what it was. He just said the name. So I heard the name. So I was trying to find what was this that he was talking about. Come to find out, this is exactly what I had been doing this whole time. Raja Chowdhury taught me this. So, um, and this is the, the Siddha teacher that I found last night or the night before. He's exactly showing you the uh, beginner and the advanced method of this mudra. It's called Shambhavi. And so when you do this mudra, it brings you into higher and higher or deeper and deeper levels of consciousness, um, which is where I need to get to in order to get rid of this hallucination. So, um, that is going to be my next step. I'm going to be, I'm going to attempt to do the Shambhavi at least an hour a day. And, um, follow where I'm led doing these things. And the other thing that has happened that has been uh, very liberating for me, I mean extremely liberating for me, I have deleted the Tortured and Nithyanandas Kailasa page. I've totally deleted it. Um, I've changed the, the other page outing Ganga, the one that was said Ma Mahakali. It now is called Zen Lightened. Zen Lightened. So that's what it looks like now. I don't know if you could see. I don't know if you could see the word there. Z E N Z enlightened. So um, it's got a picture of Buddha and a lotus flower and the uh, balancing stones on the top. Um, I'll put something. I got my my reading. I am that on here. I'll put a link in the description of this video in case anyone wants to uh, find that other page. Now on that other page, what I plan to do for that is strictly everything that will get you to be Zenlightened. So which means there's going to be all kinds of Muji guided meditations in there. Um, and what I want to say about that is if you can get out of your own way, Put aside anything that you've ever heard about Muji because it's all coming from sleepers and I want you to understand that. 
it's all coming from sleepers, people who are projecting. So if you can get out of your own way and listen to Muji's guided meditations, he is taking you right to the self. In every single guided meditation, he is taking you right to the self. So for those of you that are serious on the path, that's the place to go. This, his satsangs, because he's continuously showing people how to identify the personhood and his guided meditations, he's bringing you directly to the self. So what are you doing if you listen to both? You're getting to the self and you're identifying the personhood and soon they will merge into one. There will be no more personhood. And it can happen for you right now. Not lifetimes, right now. So um, it'll be Muji's Guided Meditations on there. Muji's uh, Satsangs on there. Um, Alan Watts. I love Alan Watts' teachings. Uh, that'll be on that page. Uh, Sadhguru will be on that page. Um, Eckhart Tolle will be on that page. Every single person that I have watched and listened to that has ever helped me on that path to get where I am right now will be on that page. And then whatever music videos that, that I create to help with relaxation or just easy listening to calm you down. If you have a tendency to be anxious, so I'll, I'll create things that will that'll help calm you down. Um, and you'll find all of that on that Zenlightened page. On this page, I will do more of the Nisargadatta stuff and the, the, the readings and the teachings on this site. So um, getting rid of the, the tortured in, uh, in Nityananda's Kailasa page and getting rid of that, uh, that other exposing Ganga page was very important for me. The, these were two threads that were keeping me attached to the personhood. And I'm telling you, I feel expanse like you can't believe. That, that you really can't believe. So it's gone. They were my last two attachments. And understand, even a negative attachment is still an attachment. They're now gone for me. I am totally free. So the last thing is this hallucination here. And this is where I'm being led to, to go for this. So uh, I'm learning about the dimensions. How do I get through the dimensions? Uh, I'm learning about um, the exercises or techniques, mudras, to get me there. And um, still continuously listening to the masters because no matter what, and here's the thing that I've been tossing around, what I've heard from Nisargadatta and Muji is that if anything comes and goes, it is a hallucination. So for instance, what I've been saying is, if you've had a vision of a past life, it was a vision. It, it, you don't see it all the time. You're not living there constantly. It was a vision. That means it was a hallucination of the mind. It comes and goes. Well, the only difference with this thing that's here is that it is always here. It doesn't ever go. It is always here. I literally see its eyes through my eyes so uh the one thing that i'm holding on to right now you see here's the other thing that i want to bring to your attention that even the masters out here did not understand what they were seeing but i kept telling you i am very connected with the self and there's nothing that happens on my page that is an accident so all of this fighting back and forth with ganga with uh the former guru and with sarah landry it was for a purpose I was somebody when I started this path who could never stand up for myself. I would shrivel like, like, a, like a dead flower or someone ever went back at me. I would shrivel unless I went into a rage and then I would go at you and man, you better watch it. That's all I could say. But otherwise, I would just shrivel up. So um, for me to be able to speak up for myself was a big change and it was a big deal for me. The fact that I kept saying that I will never be anyone's victim again, and I fought back with these abusers this whole time, was extremely important for me on this path, not on the person, as we're seeing right now. It's on the path. For me to complete this path, 
I had to become strong enough to say that I will never be anybody's victim ever again. So what happened right now, I could say, well, this thing, has, it doesn't leave. It's always here and resign myself to give into this thing and become its victim. It has invaded my form. It has deformed my form. So should I become a victim now and, and just give into this thing? Well, because of my experiences on this path and who I have become in the source, um, my answer is no. I will be nobody's victim. And this thing was not invited here. And what I stand on right now is even I'm seeing the eyes through my eyes. I am witnessing this, which means it is not me. You see, the self is witnessing this being that, that has inhabited this form. So I am above this being. And no, I will never be a victim of this being. So it can shoot me electricity in my ring finger all at once. I will never be a victim to this being. So my next step that I'm being led to now is Shambhavi. And I am, as of today, I will begin doing these for an hour a day to get me to, to go where I need to go to be able to rid this being, this form of this being. It was not invited here. Uh, and the former guru sent it here. And um, the only thing that I can say is I've defeated the former guru in everything that he's attempted to do to me. And uh, this will be just one more thing that I've defeated him on. That really is all I can say about it. And in all honesty now, all honesty, according to Hinduism, I was saying it more or less being sarcastic. Uh, but no, this is the reality. According to Hinduism, I am an avatar. I not only have this being attached to me, taken over this form, but I have in fact transcended every human disability that there is. Every human uh, attachment, desire, everything, I have transcended it. I am the real avatar. And so before we get crazy with ourselves, let's also fall back to Hinduism is a religion based in Maya. It means absolutely nothing. So do you understand why religion has kept people in ignorance and in bondage why it must be transcended I want you to listen to what I just said many many times this short little video has immense amounts of information in it for you and um, for those who want to see the truth and know the truth Listen to it again and again and again until you actually get what I said. So in the description of this video, I will put, uh, I guess I'll just get my, uh, my teaching, my reading of uh, Nisargadatta's book from the Zenlightened page for anyone who might want it. If you're serious on the path, this is where I'm going to put everything and, and everyone that I've ever listened to that has helped me on this path. Uh, will be on that page. This page is going to be more of the two teachers that that had purpose in my life, primary, excuse me, primary purpose in my life, uh, guiding me on this path, which was uh, Muji and Nisargadatta will be primary on this page. But on that page, it's going to be all the all the teachers: Muji, Eckhart Tolle, Alan Watts, Sadhguru. Um, even, uh, even this new teacher, you see, what I love about who I've become, there is no jealous in me for any, jealousy in me for anyone. I love sharing other people's work so that whoever sees my page can be led back to their page. It's all about helping people for me. And that truly is what it's about. So 
I'm not here for, for any title or name and fame, and that much I can tell you. Um, so no matter what, if something helps me, it will be put on that Zen Lighten page. And um, that's how the two pages are going to be uh, split up. But um, it was it was a, a liberating night for me last night that the tortured Nithyanandas Kailasa page was deleted, and that uh, that a second uh, outing Ganga page was turned into the Zen Lighten page. To me, it was a transformation of the personhood into the self. Boy, the personhood being the outing Ganga that was pure personhood. standing my ground saying I was not going to be anybody's victim and if you want to abuse me I'm going to let everybody know who you are um, that was pure personhood there and it was the transformation into the Zen Lighten page now that that I, I see who these people are and they're all in the sleep and I can't be bothered anymore because I don't live in their world anymore see so now for me that that's what happened on that page so this is where I am this morning and um, so I wanted to share these things with you. So right now I got to go run to the grocery store because we're expecting our first hurricane of the season by Tuesday, they said. So and then I got to bring all the babies in the house, all my bonsai trees. I got to bring them in the house. I think uh, it's a cat one. Probably by tomorrow it'll be a cat one. But they don't know if it's going to go down to a tropical storm or increase. And I've been through enough of these uh, hurricanes to know they can go from a tropical storm to a cat four. So uh, the babies need to come in the house. That's all I can say. So that's what I'll be doing today. And um, in addition to the Shambhavi. Okay, you guys, you have a blessed day.